morning. Good morning. Tuesday the 23rd of February today. And seeing as it's Tuesday, I thought it would be very fitting to get stuck into a little bit of tillage work, so let's go. So, finally got uh, my ECU terminals and I managed to fix the rat damage. Uh, in all of those connectors. So, I probably had to run around about seven or eight new wires there and I started the tractor up yesterday and lo and behold, no lights on the dash. It was a revelation, to be honest, but... Uh, <laughs> Anyway, uh, I've just got a little bit of uh, work to do to tidy up some wiring back here. Uh, I've got all the wiring here for the air seeder. Need to secure a bit of that and then I'm going to go give this a good clean off. We're going to bring it back into the shed, back it in here, we'll fold it down and then um, yeah, we can get stuck into yeah, it's going over it, greasing it, checking everything over. Um, Probably want to go around everything on this because it was brand new to us last year and a lot of stuff seemed to just work a little bit like you'd go, come up to a bolt or something like that and you'd find it would be a little bit loose so I just want to give everything a really good going over and make sure that uh, we're cherry ripe to go for the season ahead so we'll uh, yeah we'll just get moving get straight into it eh? I got the uh, tractor end all sorted out down there. That's looking nice and tidy. I've got um, this main connector here that connects up to the air seeder, supplies all the electronics back to the back. So I'm just going to mount this here somewhere. I'm not going to do anything too fancy with it. I'll just leave it on this bracket and maybe I've got a couple of bolts here. So I'll just drill a couple of holes there and um, yeah, we'll just mount him up here somewhere like that. So I'll get that on there and then we'll take this thing around for a tub. Bit of a wash off. Alrighty, that is done. A couple more zip ties on the back. We're going for a wash. Eagle eye view from up here. Sit back and watch me struggle. a damn sight better and uh, I'll be looking a damn sight better after I have some lunch I reckon <laughs> starting to get a bit peckish so we'll go up grab some lunch and then we can uh, crack on after that some days I really question why I even bother going to have lunch because after I have it 
I don't want to come back to work. I just want to have a nap or something. But anyway, <laughs> let's go pop this thing in the, in the shed and start doing a bit of maintenance on it, I guess. All right, we'll see if it fits. So far, so good. Now the other thing is that when you're crawling around on a dirt floor it's much easier to maintain the center section of the cultivator when the wings are up. So I think we'll start with the center section. <laughs> now all right as I said earlier on this is brand new last year this cultivator so what I want to do is, there shouldn't be much maintenance to do on this, but it's just sort of a fiddly annoying stuff. It's just like anything new, as you use it, things wear in, they, they settle. So I'm going to come along, I'm going to go over all these bolts down here, the U-bolts, these bolts down here, these bolts, just make sure everything's nice and tight down the bottom. And then I'm going to come along, I'm going to check everything at the top, up here and here, this U-bolt, uh, pivot bolts, all that sort of stuff. And then uh, go along, give everything a shot of grease. So it's probably going to be pretty boring, but uh, we'll try and speed this up a little bit. We'll start with the middle, fold down the wings afterwards and do all them. There's like, I don't know, 45 times to do. So it's going to be very repetitive and I'm going to have sore knees, uh, sore dusty knees by the end of the day. <laughs> There you go, that's six out of about 45. And that's only the bottom half, I gotta do the top half too, so. <sighs> Let's keep moving. Well, I've had just about enough of tightening those bolts and checking that stuff over. I never thought that I'd say this, but I might go get the grease gun. I never thought I'd be excited to go get the grease gun. But uh, yeah, I need a break from crawling around and um, yeah, we'll, <laughs> we might need a few grease nipples in the meantime. We'll see how long before I run out of grease. I guarantee you, every time you come to the grease gun, the tube is almost empty. <laughs> part about that is I'm still not quite finished greasing. Still got to crawl under here and get to a couple of spots but I'm gonna to have to call it a day because there's a little girl up at the house who needs uh, someone to look after her so that person is gonna be me so I better uh, 
hurry up and get up there before I get in strife, hey? But uh, as, uh, as always, um, thank you very much for watching the video. If you made it to this point, hopefully this one was entertaining enough. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of time lapses, I think, in this one, but that's just the work that it was today. So thank you very much, and uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.